Hey, what's up everybody? BMAC here with another video for you. Uh, a little lesson that I've been dealing with uh, with some of my students that I'd like to share with you all. Uh, this one comes from a Joe Lovano clinic. Uh, I remember attending longer ago than I'd care to admit. Um, but in the clinic, what I took away from it was um, this really cool idea of changing the subdivision that you uh, that you feel that you're kind of instead of just like one two three four or one three one three you could change it into that half note but it could be one, two four two four or the one the three or it could be one two one two or three four three four or two three two three like different sort of mathematical derivatives of the subdivision changing and feeling. And then trying to manifest that in your plane um, and sometimes using rests in those uh, subdivisions. And it, so the main one that I, that I use in this video today um, is kind of like a one, two, like, you know, two quarter notes. Um, and I'll break them up and I'll put them into different places. It could be on beat one and two, two and three, uh, three and four, um, four and one, you know, the different sort of uh, makeups of those. So I'll be playing and it, it's kind of... You know, so I could be thinking like in a tempo, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to use that kind of like one, two, like quarter notes uh, together at a, a tempo, like one, two, three, four. And I'll just kind of um, make a physical sound so you can hear what I'm actually thinking inside. So it'd be like one, two, three, four. So instead of beats one and two, it could be beats three and four, like one, two, three, four. And so you 
get that sort of breakup. Uh, you could try it on beats uh, two and three. One, two, three, and four. And then you can always get different subdivisions uh, playing around with dotted quarter notes, uh, dotted half notes, displacing them into all different locations, um, and just um, have some fun with it, I suppose. It can be frustrating at first, but, you know, move through, you know, makes mistakes are fine, and just keep moving through it until it starts to feel comfortable. The other cool thing about that clinic was in this mindset, feeling the subdivision changes, uh, all of a sudden, I, you know, I refer, refer to it as autopilot, you know, those licks that we know and kind of complete from beginning to end. All of a sudden, having those rests thrown into uh, the mix of things, all of a sudden, those that autopilot can't really kick in and take hold. You have to actively think about what you're doing in the voice leading and what's about to come up. So it really creates kind of an organic nature about your lines, about what you're playing and what direction you're going to move into. And you can really discover some really cool, interesting tensions and releases that weren't there before with something that you've been playing for a very long time. So it's, um, yeah, it's a real great organic mix for everything. Because I could be... Um, and then if I break that up into random sort of like groupings of rests of two, you know, it's still at the very least, I get a rhythmic change up of things because we also want to improvise great rhythms and interesting rhythms along with our lines. So all those breakups of that kind of change the line and all of a sudden I organically see a different direction to move into with what I'm going to be doing.